Hello ladies and gentlemen, and this is Electric Jeopardy. Today's contestants are, from East Harvard High School, our first contestant is Rosie. Our next contestant is Nikki. Our final contestant is the EHHS Hornet. Today's categories are, let's start with the basics. You've got to respect the law. I got the power. Electric bill. And the last category is homecoming game. Okay, let's get started. Nikki, you choose the first category. Let's start with the basics for 100. Current, voltage, resistance, capacitance, and inductance. Nikki. What are the basic electrical quantities? Correct. Same category for 200. Ampers, volts, ohms, farads, and henrys are these for the basic electrical quantities. Buzz. What are units of measurement? You are correct. Basics for 300. This device measures voltage, current, and resistance. Rosie. What is a multimeter? You are correct. Basics for 400. This device measures inductance, capacitance, and resistance. Buzz. Um, what is LCR meter? That's great. Same category for 500. This is the way the lights are wired inside one of the poles on the football field. Rosie. What is parallel? Once again, correct. You got to respect the law for 100. This equation gives you the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. Nikki. What is Ohm's law? You are correct. Same category for 200. It happens to the voltage in a circuit when the current is increased and the resistance is constant. Nikki. What is increase? That's correct. Same category for 300. This device that has the variable resistance is used to change the amount of current in a circuit. Rosie. What is potential meter? That's right. You got to respect the law for 400. The amount of current in a circuit. Buzz. What is 4 amperes? You are correct. Respect the law for 500. The amount of voltage provided by this battery. Rosie. What is 14 volts? You are correct. We'll be back after this commercial break. Hey, Kulara. Sorry, I don't talk to guys who think they're hotter than me. Hon, don't get jealous because I'm toxic and you're not. I may not be toxic, but people like me are harder to get. Well, I can be found at any corner store. But I live longer than you, whippersnapper. I have a pretty long lifespan. I live up from 16,000 to 24,000 hours, chump. Well, both of you break it up. I'm going to choose one of you. LED, I choose you. You're worth my money. Yes, thank you so much. In your face, Mercury Vapor. Don't worry, LED. I will be back. I got the power for 100. Reactive power is the result of the presence of these types of electrical components. Nikki. What are c capacitors and inductors? Right again. Same category for 400. I squared R and V squared divided by R are alternative ways of calculating this. Nikki. What is electric resistive power? You are correct. Same category for 500. This picture that depicts the relationship between real, reactive, and apparent power is commonly referred to as... Rosie. What is the power triangle? Correct again. Electric bill for 100. This quantity that is calculated by multiplying the consumed power by the amount of time is used by CLMP to determine the power bill. Buzz. What is kilowatt hour? You are correct. Electric bill for 200. The price of one kilowatt hour that CLMP charges East Harford High School. Buzz. What is 21 cents? Once again, correct. Electric bill for 300. These are the bill usage and the cost of the electricity bill consumed between August 25th through September 26th for the East Harvard High School football field activities. Nikki. What are 680 kilowatt hour and $185.18. You are correct. Same category for 400. The total charge in the school's electric bill is calculated by adding these two. Rosie. What are electricity supply services and delivery services? That's right. Same category for 500. FMCC, which is a charge related to the reliability of supply delivered by the electric system, stands for this. Rosie. What is federally mandated congestion charge? That's right. Homecoming game for 100. Here is Celia at the East Harvard High School football game night with a clue. Most people don't notice, but electricity here is consumed during all night events. The light being used here are a 1,000 watt mercury vapor lamps wired for 208 volts. 
It is the number of lights on this football field and the power requirements for this lighting system expressed in kilowatts. Buzz. What is 46? That's right. Homecoming game for 200. Here's Celia again. This is the total measured power consumption for one night game. Rosie. What is 226.7 kilowatt hour? That's right. And that concludes today's game of Electric Jeopardy.